know what your neighbor's roof, an egg carton, and the newspaper have in common? Over the next few minutes, you will learn the answer and a whole lot more as we take you on an incredible journey, a unique journey, deep inside the green machine of Saskatoon. The green machine includes government, private businesses, citizens like you, and features the program participants at Cosmo Industries. You may never look at a piece of paper the same way again. Let's start at the beginning. For over 30 years, many men and women with intellectual disabilities have been making Saskatoon and the world a better place to live with their efforts at Cosmo Industries. What goes on behind these walls is an amazing success story of caring, cooperation, and dignity. Chances are, you may not realize that you are a partner in this success and what a difference it makes in everyone's world. This is a story of what it takes to feed the green machine. First stop, your house. What happens to the flyers and newspapers when they're all red? What about empty egg cartons or cereal boxes? Did you know with your help they can be given a new life to come back as CD labels, inserts for your video games, birthday cards, comic books, coffee cups, report cards, even shingles for the roof? Right about now, you may be wondering how some old cereal boxes can be transformed into shingles for the roof. Every day, these large trucks drive around the city of Saskatoon collecting all the paper products that people just like you and I drop into the Cosmo bins. These shiny bins are the temporary homes to newspapers, flyers, cardboard boxes, wrapping paper and magazines. There are over 200 bins in the city at over 80 different locations. Talk about convenience! And more community collection centers are planned. Paper recycling may seem pretty simple. Step one, toss out the paper products into the green Cosmo recycle bins. Step two, the fine folks at Cosmo sort, bale and ship off for processing. Done. But it doesn't always end that way. This streamlined system can hit a major snag if someone puts real garbage in the bins. If garbage is mixed up with the recycled paper, the paper products can become contaminated. In simple terms, the quality of the recycled paper drops from an A grade down to a D, which limits some of the options it can be recycled into. This downgrading also affects how much money it can be sold for on the recycled paper market. Quality is always key for companies buying recycled bales. In the worst case scenario, the paper won't be able to be recycled and it will be added to the landfill, the exact place we're trying to avoid. But enough of that, let's get on with the green journey. When the truck is full, it's time to head back to Cosmo and dump the load. This is where the sorting will begin. With the help of many, these paper products will be placed onto different conveyor belts and sorting equipment, like this star wheel sorter. It's specially made to separate the cardboard from the other papers. It's safer and quicker than doing it by hand. In addition to the paper products we put into the bins, offices and even some schools around the city have a special pickup program that collects all the waste paper. If privacy is an issue, the documents will be placed in this huge shredder. Once these confidential documents are shredded, they will be joined with other office paper to make a bale. So recycling provides a variety of options for Cosmo participants. They assist the truck drivers in picking the paper up from offices and schools, they sort out the newspapers from all the other material, and they shred the paper. This is the baler. It squeezes all the paper products together in a tight box-like shape and wraps it up with metal wire. On average, each bale weighs around one ton. That's the same weight as a smart car or a buffalo. What's really great about these bales is their versatility in what they can make. 
For example, this bale of office paper will be shipped off to various companies, some right around the world. The companies will process them, and depending on what grade of recycled paper it is, these bales can be transformed into those CD or video game liners we spoke of. Newspapers get the same treatment. They're all grouped together and put into a bale. Once again, each bale will weigh around one ton. Old newsprint, or ONP as it's called in the paper business, can be almost totally recycled, depending on what type of printing press the newspaper company operates with. In some cases, one bale of newsprint can make one roll of newsprint paper. So it's a great thing to recycle. Here's a riddle. When is old news good? When the newspapers are recycled and transformed back into rolls of newsprint. In theory, Sunday's paper can be read, tossed into the bin, recycled, and be back in action the following week. Talk about turnaround. Newspapers can be recycled around six to seven times before it's recycled into something else. Mixed papers, which are a combination of cardboard and lower grade paper, help provide shelter. One bale of mixed paper, when mixed with some asphalt filler, will make enough shingles to roof four houses. Here's another one for you. You know those cardboard trays grocery stores keep the apples and peaches in? You guessed it, another recycled product, this one made right here in Saskatchewan at Urban Forest Products and Swift Current. As the world becomes more recycle friendly, the possibilities are endless. When thinking about the future, one thing to keep in mind is, what is the best and most cost effective way of recycling? The answer is the community collection method, which is being used right now by the City of Saskatoon and Cosmo Industries. Currently, Saskatoon residents, and that means you and I, are saving a million dollars annually by using Cosmo bins. It's like winning a lottery. Another method is called co-mingling, although it seems to save some money in the beginning because everything is being picked up together, it can cost a whole lot more in the end. Sorting takes longer and thousands of dollars can be lost when the paper products get contaminated by food or glass. Plus, important jobs could be lost here in Saskatoon if the sorting is done elsewhere. The buyers, they're the people who make the recycled goods, pay good money for good quality. But if the quality goes down, so does the profit, meaning less money available for programs for the participants at Cosmo Industries. Some private businesses, like curbside recycling, will come to your door for a price and take all sorts of recyclable items. But even they have a problem if it's commingled. Cosmo Industries has proven for over 30 years that their method of recycling is the way to go. Like the old saying says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So now you know what happens to the paper, let's tell you why it's so special. Every week, between 10 to 15 trailers like this one are being filled with paper products. That's close to 390 tons of paper products that won't be calling Saskatoon's landfill home. And that number is every week. Added up for a year, 14,000 tons of waste is being given a new lease on life. But it doesn't end there. You and your family can make that number even higher by taking these simple steps when recycling. First off, when recycling newspaper, don't toss in the plastic bag that you carried them in. This bin is just for newsprint, no plastics allowed, and that includes grocery store bags. Adding plastics to the bins is cross-contamination. The fact is, even one small grocery bag can contaminate the quality of recycled newsprint. Second, when recycling your cardboard boxes, remember to remove all the plastics and styrofoam packing before you toss the boxes in. 
all forms of styrofoam are garbage and not suitable for recycling. That includes styrofoam cups. Bottom line, they shouldn't go in any Cosmo bin. Be aware of how to recycle correctly and help others too. It's one small thing that you can personally do to make Saskatoon and the world a better place. All of these things will help reduce the amount of waste going to the landfill, and that's something that makes the world a better place. More trees mean cleaner air, a place for birds, and a prettier world to live in. Just as important, Cosmo Industries recycling system benefits 400 citizens with developmental disabilities by providing dignified work and other activities. Through their hard work, they see recycling as one of their contributions to a greater community. They are your partners in creating a greener Saskatoon. It's all pretty cool when you think it all starts with you and a Cosmo recycle bin. All the great things you do to make Saskatoon part of the big green machine. Hi, I'm Kirk Anderson, President of the Board of Directors here at Cosmo Industries. And I'm very pleased to be able to tell you about some of the great programs we have here at Cosmo, thanks in large part to the revenues we generate in our paper recycling division. These revenues augment the funds that we receive from government, and they go towards enriching and enhancing the lives of those with intellectual and physical disabilities in our community. All of the programs here at Cosmo are designed to allow participants to be involved in activities that provide enjoyment, personal growth, and an enriched quality of life. Each person at Cosmo has many options of involvement in learning, literacy, and communication activities. Our seniors area have incorporated the learning and sharing of cultural experiences into their weekly activities. Some participants learn how to ride the city buses, and this opens up opportunities for increased involvement in the community for those able to travel independently. Aside from the daily routines, each person has the option of involvement in our recreation, leisure and fitness programs. Such opportunities include both in-house and community-based facilities for concerts, fitness, crafts, music, photography and many other activities and events. The personal care staff administers medication, tends to minor injury or illness and provides personal care support for the participants of Cosmo. Aids and adaptations have been incorporated to allow participants greater independence in their day especially at mealtimes. Physical, occupational, massage and foot therapies are available to participants requiring it for their physical well-being. Funds generated through paper recycling ensure every participant receives a training allowance. This provides an awareness and recognition for their contributions to Cosmo and an increase in self-esteem. And in the process, participants learn about the value of money. The participants and the staff and the board of directors here at Cosmo Industries appreciate the significant support we have received the past 30 years from all of the citizens of Saskatoon, the city of Saskatoon, the Cosmopolitan Clubs of Saskatoon, and the Star Phoenix. More recently, our recycling efforts have received significant financial support from the Affinity Credit Union, Kinsman Telemiracle Foundation, the province of Saskatchewan, the Riverside Vipon Golf Classic, and Western Economic Diversification Canada.